right? Let's bring in CTV's Abby uh, Kukudasan, who is in Philadelphia right now. I can imagine the jubilation where you are, Abby. Give us a sense, set us a scene here in terms of what you're seeing and what you're hearing from Joe Biden supporters. Angie, just sensational. In the last little while, when the announcement came through, the Associated Press had called it this yet the celebrations began here in Philadelphia right away. We heard the cars start to honk. People started, you know, cheering from inside their cars. They've taken to the streets. We're near the convention center where that counting was underway, where we've been waiting to hear updates for the last several days. You know, it was trickling in, even though it was seemed to be very clear that most of those mail-in ballots were for Joe Biden and that he was surged past Donald Trump and take the state of Pennsylvania. It is now final. These 20 electoral votes have gone to Joe Biden. He's the next president of the United States. And it's absolutely fitting that it was the state of Pennsylvania Pennsylvania that pushed him through. He was born in this state, in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He launched his campaigns in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. He spent the last days in Philadelphia campaigning, knowing that this would be the county that would push him over the edge if people came out and voted. They certainly did that. And now he's the next president-elect. And I certainly want to mention Kamala Harris's running mate, a historic moment for her, as well as the first woman vice president, the first black vice president, the first Asian um, vice president. And there's certainly a celebration here underway celebrating all of that. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. And I think for women right around the world, as you mentioned, there, Abby, this is a huge win where you can say, hey, you know what? It can be done. Uh, I, we're, we're showing live shots here, but I want to come back to you, Abby. Give us a bit of a walkthrough. Give us a feel here because, as you say, history has been made. He has won the most uh, number of votes here uh, since any president had with over 7 million votes. Um, but, but history has been made on so many fronts here. Give us a bit of a walk around in terms of where you are. Yeah, absolutely. Even given the pandemic, the COVID-19 outbreak, more people voted in this election than ever before. More than 74 million people voted for the ticket with Biden and Harris on it. Um, and certainly you can hear the happiness behind me. The, the picture that I certainly want to paint for you is beyond the singing and the screaming, you know, they're just happy that it's over and they're happy that their candidate won. This is a heavily blue Democratic uh, district and they've been waiting. They figured, you know, we would be the ones that would push him over the edge. They've done that. There's certainly Trump supporters here as well. They're, you know, waiting to see because they feel like the president is going to continue launching these lawsuits. But the f official results are that Joe Biden is the president-elect. He will be sworn in on January 20th. I've got to get your sense, though, Abby. I see a smile creeping up on your face. And I know as journalists, you know, we, we, we keep ourselves, um, you, know, you, know, you know, on even key. But for yourself, uh, covering this election, and you've done a brilliant job for us, what's going through your mind as you're in the midst of all of this? I mean, it's just sensational, right? This country, and it's touting its democracy in the last several days. There were so many concerns when we talked to people about what would be the next four years would be like. Both parties had kept saying, this is the election of their lifetime. Tensions were very, very high. And as the w votes were coming in and being counted, you know, there was concern on both sides, certainly, because the Democrats thought, well, you know, Trump is filing all of these lawsuits, and what is that going to mean? Every vote should count. And as the count continued, Joe Biden has secured that. And certainly for me, you know, thinking about Kamala Harris as the first woman vice president, the first black woman to be in vice president, the first Asian woman to take to that office. Her parents are immigrants, two immigrants of color, and certainly here in Philadelphia, that matters a lot.